Hi, I'm Chip, and today I'm going to show you the best way to get ink out of the inside of a dryer. Now, the other day, this scrapper friend of mine brought a dryer that he had gotten from a lady that was in the medical field. And she had left a fountain pen inside one of her lab coats, and it got inside the dryer. And it caused a catastrophe. It got all over her scrubs, and she said she had to, to uh, buy all of her uniforms all over again, and she was done with this dryer. She wasn't going to take a chance on it again because it was damaged too much. And this is what it looked like when I got it. So I, I got it, cleaned it up. It, the dryer was only about two years old, and it was in perfect condition on the inside except for the ink inside the drum. So I decided I'd, I'd make a video about common household items that you could use to clean the inside of a dryer if this happens to you. Now, these aren't the best items to, to use. They will, they will work, but the best item to use is also not the most healthy item that you can use. And it, it could cause lung problems uh, the fumes are horrible, but at the end of the video, I'll show you what that is. But try these first before you try to damage your health. But let's get to the video. Okay, the first product we're going to use is this Goo Gone. We're going to use a just a common shop towel. You can use paper towels; they're the same thing. But we're just going to put some on the corner, and we're going to try that out. Got a little weep hole there that I've punched in it. Let's try that on this bad spot here. Well, it should have done something by now. It's not even a little blue on there. But that's not working. Goo gone. Let's try press the mint, mint oil. Now the reason I got mint oil is because I didn't think I want my anybody's clothes smelling like pine oil. I think it's about the same stuff. But it says it's a cleaner deodorant, degreaser, and it's good for um, pencil, crayon, dirt, and grease. I figure anything to take a crayon off ought to be able to take off uh, that ink stain. Well, let's try that. Yep. Mint oil or the paper towel doesn't work. So let's see. Let's try it with a Mr. Clean eraser. I'm just gonna get into this thing. All right. Let's first try the goo gone. A little bit in the corner. Doesn't work. So let's try it with a mint oil. Let's put it in this corner. Oh, look at there, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Seems to work pretty good. Takes a lot of elbow grease, but yeah, we got it. Okay. Goo gone, no good. Mint oil with a Mr. Clean eraser and a lot of elbow grease works good. Now, let's try a Brillo pad and plain water. Let's see how well that'll work. Mm 
it seems to be working, but it takes a lot of elbow grease. Yeah, I'd say that it works. But it isn't as easy as the Mr. Clean. All right, I'm from Mr. Clean and the Mint Oil. I'm not Mr. Clean, but yeah, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and Mint Oil. So let's, let's get a bunch on here and let's see what we can do. One thing that I do know about this is it's not going to be an easy job. It's going to take a lot of elbow grease. But by far, the mint oil with the magic eraser is the best solution. Mint oil with water doesn't work as well as mint oil with straight mint oil. So yeah, it's going to be cleanable with a lot of work. How about mint oil with a Brillo pad? Well, it takes it off, but it leaves splotches, areas that So I believe that's the best method. Use the mint oil with a Brillo pad, and then come back and touch up with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I think that's going to be the best method. Yeah. Yeah, this takes off the heavy stuff. And then the magic eraser. Come back over it. Perfect. That's what we'll do, man. Oil. Brillo pad and touch up with a magic eraser. Okay, I should mention here after I cleaned one section of this, my fingers started getting kind of raw and burning a little with it and that harsh soap. So I recommend putting on some rubber gloves. And what I'm going to do is just pour a little of this in the bottom. And then I'm going to use the Brillo pad first. All right, now come back with a Magic eraser. What I've noticed about dryers is there's a you do blue jeans in them, you get this blue hue on it, and this magic eraser is taking that off too. So I think you have the idea. That's how you get ink off a badly inked up dryer. So as you can see from this video, there's a lot of work involved in using uh, common household uh, products to get rid of uh, these ink stains. 
There is one other ingredient that you might find in a common household, especially if you have uh, ladies present, is nail polish remover. And one of the main ingredients in nail polish remover is acetate. Now, there's other ingredients such as toluene and ethyl acetate that are, are in this product. And they're all aromatic and they, they're very harmful if you breathe the fumes for very long. And I don't recommend using them, but it works fantastically as you can see in this this next little clip here but if you're going to use this uh, this stuff try to get the the um, product that has 100 percent acetate then you don't have to worry about uh, dealing with the the toluene and the ethyl acid acetate just the uh, just the acetate so you don't want to compound things toluene is, is one of the uh, ingredients in uh, TNT tried nitro toluene and these things, if you breathe them long enough, they can really damage uh, your lungs and your liver. And can you imagine just passing out inside your dryer drum and the, the uh, paramedics come and fi find you with a, a sponge in one hand and, and a spilled uh, nail polish remover in the other. But, but anyway, if you're going to use this, make sure you have adequate ventilation, wear protective uh, rubber uh, gloves, and it just basically just wipes the, the ink right out but if you have a dryer that was in the condition that this one was you're going to use a lot of it and you're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, a cost, uh, carcinogenic fumes around you so be careful if you're going to use this last product anyway thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one